What is up, guys? Welcome to a brand new series about the game Surviving the Aftermath. I cannot express how many ads I've gotten for this game. Uh, it, it's a uh, zombie survival game. It's very much up my alley. I love zombie games. And it's a little bit of a city builder. You're trying to build up a city after the zombies attacked. And I see these ads on my Instagram stories and on my timeline. No joke daily. I'm not sure if Epic Games got me in their back pocket or something, but they are hitting me with it, and it finally worked. I bought it. So <laughs> we're going to be playing a uh, playing this. I'm brand new. I just turned this on. I probably have two minutes in game of me sitting looking at the screen, mentally preparing for this series here. We're just going to hit new game. We're going to hop into it. I'm going to learn with you guys, and we're just going to dive into the, the depths. Are you, you are about to enter the post-apocalyptic world. We're building a car. I'm going to have to go through the tutorial messages. I'm sorry. Okay, so this entire game, it's very scenario based. So we're going to see how it goes and just just go with it. There are only a few who remember the spark that started it all. A chain reaction of global catastrophes wiped out most of the planet. Cool. Seas are demolished, but nature preserved. The world is desolated and unforgiving. The planet is unbarren. So I guess each one of these is going to make it slightly more difficult. If you look there, the difficulty rating goes up the lower you go. This is my first time. So I'm going to say cities are demolished, but nature prevailed. I think that's I, I think that's how I imagine a zombie apocalypse. If I was to imagine a zombie apocalypse, I'd imagine that the zombies were evil and horrible, but the cities and the soil and all that would be normal. So let's do that. The worst has passed to rebuild. Contamination. It's dangerous world, but will prevail. The wake of the events resulting... Extreme weather conditions versus past time to rebuild. Still dangerous world, but will prevail. Feels like the apocalypse never ended. I feel like this is like Fallout-y. Hmm. Well, let's just pretend we came out of a vault. And if we came out of a vault from Fallout, this would be the answer. Because the worst is past, like the bombs dropped. Good. Resources, the indestructible bunker collapse the trusted car finally broke down after walking for ages we're gonna go for the car I, I i think if we go too easy on all these you guys are gonna hate me and hate the series so let's go for the car survivors hardened individuals who will thrive in this world band of survivors able to care for themselves group of ambitious misfits you if it was a little ways out you'd assume most of the people in this car would have been pretty hardened y you'd assume most of the most of the dead weight if you will has died so let's do this challenge some challenges are to be expected numerous challenges are assured uh, hard exploration organized bandits i think that's fair i don't plenty of hardened bandits and it's the apocalypse i i think we're gonna have some bandits against us gatekeeping gatekeeper life is unfair but sometimes it feels like you are not alone whether it is an Visible guardian or just pure fate. But it sure feels like someone is watching over us. Survival is challenging, but fair. I think that's probably... we could go for this. We'll go for this. Oh, cool. Visual. So this is my flag. We're going to try to work together. I'm going to try and make friends with people, guys. I, I just got to do it. I always feel bad in these scenarios. Scenarios. So we're going to try and uh, call any name. We'll call it... Uh, see, a huge fan of Walking Dead. So I think I'm going to call it Sanctuary. Sanctuary. Party Town. I don't want to have a misspell this entire thing. I will never live it down. And colony motto. We'll go we'll go New Hampshire's motto, which I always like. Live free or die. I always thought it was a funny motto. That's New Hampshire's motto. And uh, I like it. Storing messages, temperature and humid. Plenty of fertile soil, occasional contamination, low. Uh, then we got some hardened survivors. Tough, decis uh, decisive, and determined. Uh, medium difficulty bandits are abundant a uh, survivalist party town and live free or die let's make it happen guys thank you everyone so much for tuning on in for this brand new series by the way i am pretty excited i am pretty pumped to be seeing how this all pans out 
once again, brand new to the game and we'll see how it goes. My brother, I guess, actually fell for the ad as well and bought the game a while back. And he said he likes it. He, he only has like four hours in it. He hasn't really gotten to the depths of it. But um, they're constantly updating it. It looks like they're making a lot of great strides and I'm in. All right, cool. So let's see. All right, low on clothes, uh, scavenge or make more clothes by the tailor. Basic controls, basic controls are probably, yeah, sim-like. No, yep, okay, good. Cool. All right, let's let's uh, let's build those bases here. Let's build up some, uh, some shelters. These hold six people, so let's do that. It looks like we have eight, I believe, from the starting decisions there. I think we have eight. And I'm assuming organization here is important, so... We'll try and make this as organized as possible for efficiency of course if we have eight people we'll do that and then we'll hit them with a hit them with a 10. hit play i think these guys may auto build yes okay cool they do i don't know what this guy is the oh bug as in broken got it so here are our current resources we also need to make a tailor um i can start flipping through these and try and figure out where that bad boy is looks like we already got a stockpile I'm assuming food's probably a necessity that we should start getting early. We do have fertile soil, so let's try and get some food down. Keep it near the uh, near the houses here. The Trapper. Kind of reminds me of... Uh, I used to love Stronghold. This, this old game, Stronghold 2 or something. And uh, I really liked it. It was a lot like... Uh, it was all that type of stuff. I don't think... I wonder if water matters where I put it. Like, if I put it, does... Oh, wait. Work area efficiency. Okay. So, we want to make sure we get the best efficiency as possible. Right here. Four colonists are homeless. Build more shelters? Really? I thought I built enough. I guess I didn't. And this is four, right? Okay. Pause, can we, so let's just do uh, growth rate, slow, yield. Let's do that. Are we running out? We're running out of some stuff here. There's a recycler. There's the tailor and that, that still says build more housing. We're gonna get those housing done. I'm gonna follow these instructions in the top left. They also said that we need clothes, but it looks like we have no fibers. We'll have to figure out how to get those. Those bad boys. The gate. So that'll be... Cons George is homeless. Build more shelters. I thought that was enough. Am I just... Maybe I'm blind, man. We still need more water. It looks like our water is declining faster than we're producing it. Try and make that happen. I'm just going to do that and let's get a uh, another water thing. A water well should probably do. We're going to get bad efficiency if we put it over here. But if we put it over here, we get good efficiency. So let's do that. Hopefully that'll be enough water. Production. Wait, it says we're producing zero? I thought this would produce. Water well. A source of water critical for colonists survival but must be built on normal fertile land. Oh, they just finished building the first well. I thought they already built it. Okay, that's on me. We are missing tarps here for the emergency shelter. Okay. Construction of that's done. Cool. If you right click that, that makes it disappear. Sick. Then we have a world map, which is really cool. So it looks like we can start expanding and like trading with other areas in the future. There's a farm here. Is that is that our farm? We'll come back to that. I'm assuming they'll teach us the teach us the ways, if you will, when that comes around. Those are planks, berries, concrete, metal scraps, concrete again. It does look like it kind of tells you pollution. The gate has collapsed. Okay, rebuild the collapsed gate. Just clicking through these to figure out where that gate is. I'm, I'm clearly blind as a Batman. We can't build that yet because we don't have enough resources. We need more tarps. Maybe it will 
Uh, sa scavenge plastic from nearby deposits when a recycler with a recycler. Okay, let's build a recycler here. Trying to follow these rules as close as possible. Recycler. I wonder if it needs to be in a specific area. Plastic is used for the destruction of, destruction of refined resources, fibers. We'll put it just here for now. Insufficient stuff to construct the recycler. What are we missing? Planks. Okay, so that we can actually get just by. Move a stockpile work area to gather. Nice. Okay, so they'll just start gathering now. Cool. I actually feel like I'm learning this pretty quickly. It does look like we'll need some clothes and stuff, but overall, we'll be okay. We have them gathering these these resources up here. Hopefully the nuclear waste they don't touch. touch them. And then we'll get some planks from there. Over here looks like metal scrap, concrete, concrete, planks, large concrete. So our goal is just gonna be probably be to clear as much of this area as we can. We wanna make sure to stay pretty close to our current space we have going on. Not branch out too far. And then we also have this, of course. Hopefully we can get all the resources for. I'm gonna leave the priority all the same. It looks like you can change priority based on what you need the most. Maybe we can make the priority of the uh, the tents pretty important because yeah, I'm assuming being homeless is probably a killer. So let's let's make that high and we'll, then we'll leave the rest. This is obviously the recycler. Which once we get some more some more wood here, we should be good to go. Over here, we also have berries and stuff for food. I'm hoping these fields are will produce enough food. They're growing at 5%, pretty slow, but hopefully in the long run, it will uh, it'll be beneficial. There is radio stations. Oh, I'm assuming that's just actually the music we're listening to. No specialists. I'll try to click on like everything and see what it's all about. Tech tree. Looks like we can try and get smart. Build larger fields. So there is quite a progression system in this game. I'm pretty intrigued. People are currently asleep. Actually, we can speed up time, which is probably what I should be doing. Whoa, whoa, wild boar. Wait, did they finish collecting everything? They haven't. They just decided to sleep. How dare they? How dare they sleep while we're dying? Someone seems, some people seem sad. Why is that? I apologize about the intermittent, inter, the breaks I'm taking. There we go. I'm uh, drinking a coffee. It's still really early here. I say really early, it's it's 12.30. It's not that early, but for me, this is early, let me be. This is still early, I still need my coffee. It's I feel great, but the coffee is a necessity to make sure I am still moving and functioning. We can, uh, I feel like we should keep everything pretty close here. We can just move it over. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out these controls. Come out here. We'll move them that way. And maybe a hunter is necessary. So once we get the cinder blocks, which we're getting right now, we'll be able to finish uh -huh. up that. This is still short, but the recycler should be able to get us the uh, the stuff we need. Construction being finished there. Then we're going to try and finish up this gate ASAP. Let me stop time real quick and see what they recommend me to do here. Construction, move the area. It looks like they're just gonna do it on their own. Oh wait, okay, hold up, I see it now. So we should 
have them go here. I didn't realize it was trash over there. Perfect. All right, so that's going to be us gathering stuff. I should probably get a hunting's lodge just because I'm worried about this guy killing us. And I saw that there was hunting earlier. I just don't know. Trapper. Low on food. Well, then let's harvest. I'm going to hit harvest now because I don't want anyone to die here. We obviously have food, just not a lot of it. But I think harvesting now will hopefully get that food back in. We're only two days in, by the way. Right down here is the days we have. Then I guess we can send you back there, which is kind of a haul. But I think that's going to be a lot of resources. So let's make that happen. Get food or people will starve. We're trying our best, man. Hopefully this will be enough food. Where is our food? So they consume harvest crops 23. Uh, consumption 10 per day. Gotcha. Gotcha. Some wild boars hanging out. No, no, no. We're just going to leave potatoes going all the time, I think. And good. No longer low on food, so that's good. And he's still homeless. I can't understand why, but maybe it's on me. We have enough water coming in. I feel like we should probably figure out a trading system. Eventually, that seems like it would be the, uh, the priority. Let's see what we need here. So we need these metal pieces right here. Metal pieces, scavenged metal. Deposits from the colony, use the scrapper. Use the scrapper. Okay, so we'll have to build a scrapper as well. Right here. Build it, I guess. People are getting a little sad. We might have to get more, uh... I might have to get more fields. This The food is constantly depleting here. Don't want anyone to die here, so I think we're going to pause it and uh, get some more fields. I think, that's, I think that's the move. For the time being, that is. we. I don't see any water near us. Oh, all the way over here? I wonder if that's considered far or not. I really don't know. Like, is that too far to respond to if they get, like, attacked or something? I don't even know if they will get attacked. A little over my head to understand that, but... What we should not be struggling with is food when fields are free. This is this is a uh, this is an unacceptable thing to struggle with right now. I can't harvest now. Wait, we have to wait. Growth rate normal. We'll do that because growth rate of potatoes is kind of slow. Ooh! Three colonists explain they've been working on a new kind of trap for hunting rabbits, and the group wants to set them outside the camp. The contraptions look functional, but letting the group venture far away from the colony is not worth the risk. Ooh, that's a, that's a dilemma. I feel like we need the food, but I also don't want to lose a colonist, but I feel like we need the food. I'm going to say no, I think. I think if we get the fields really harvesting and actually functional, I think that's the move. Let go. Oh! After the suspiciously long time, the group were finally returns. The only thing they managed to trap was a single rabbit with enough venison on it for two people. Okay, so no one got hurt, though. That's good. You know what this game's reminding me of a little bit right now? RimWorld. Sort of like a rim world, which is a good thing. I freaking love rim world. Yeah, I, I'm going to just leave him here, I think. Then we have to start harvesting. Again.
Recycler definitely takes time. I should have built that almost immediately, I think. I think if we immediately built that, we would have seen better results in this camp. I burnt through our resources relatively fast. But hopefully we can uh, we can get this repaired and still going. Move environmental stations, work area here to dispose of the pollution. Whoa, 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 whoa. what the hell is this? Heck is this? The same period of unhappiness will lead colonists to fall into despair. Uh, colonists have lost their will to live. They can leave the colony, cause them, cause harm to themselves, or end their lives by their own hand. Hungry and homeless? No! We're trying, buddy. We almost got you home. I'm sorry, man. No, please. Don't give up, dude. It's only been four days. It's been freaking four days, man. I understand four days is a long time, but it's not like you haven't eaten in four days. We've had food. Like, there's been food. There's been enough food to feed you. Oh, this sucks. I really just... We just can't get food coming, man. There's just not enough food. Which, hey, I'd be aggravated too if I haven't eaten in a couple days. But it's not like they haven't eaten in a couple days. They had food, like, less than three or four days ago. If they had food. Wait, they've only been out here for four days. Should I get more fields? Do we have enough people to tend more fields? Now that's the real question. But I think that might be a question for the next episode. Thank you everyone so much for watching and supporting the content. If you guys like this game or if you want to see more of this game, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the deal. Share it with a friend. Let someone know. Uh, let the videos play in the background. You guys know what to do. I don't need to explain it to you guys. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Uh, catch the next episode, hopefully tomorrow. If you watch this on the release day, hopefully the following day will be the next episode. I really appreciate your viewership and support. Enjoy the rest of your days. Thank you, guys.